Jesus Christ. Running from the law means starting all over. You lose everything. The house, the cars, the furniture. Everything. Gone. Fuck. Big load, Georgie. Why don't we start small? No. I got the space. I figured everything out. It's what I wanted to do, so. All right. I'll talk to Pablo. Tell him it's for you. I don't think there will be a problem. Okay, 5,000 per kilo, right? <laughs> Come on, George. What? <laughs> You're not serious, George. Uh, the going rate is 1,000. Inflation, you know. Yeah, but Augusto, this is a one-time thing. One more and I'm out. Just give me a good price for old time's sake, huh? Huh? Come on. Salud. Salud. Take off from Fort Lauderdale on Sunday, refuel, and be in Medellin by Monday. Stay overnight, refuel, be back Wednesday night. Where are you coming in? Vero Beach. It's perfect. Small, private. Take it to the Lauderdale house where it stays till pickup and payment the next morning. Do it again. Hey, you know what, honey? What? I was thinking about getting out of town this way. Hold on, Josh. Okay, let's go. Be well. Hey, how you doing, George? Oh, I'm Peachy, how are you? Good, thanks. So you hear about your old friend, Diego? What about it? Have a look. What the fuck? You gonna walk? Oh no. No, he's gonna go down, George. We just wanna make sure he stays down. This guy's an embarrassment. We got orders all the way from the top on this one. Oh yeah? Yeah. So what do you say, George? You want to help us make this happen? We know you hate him. We've done our homework. I don't think so. <laughs> George. George, don't be stupid. All right, we got this guy. Okay, we got this guy dead to rights. But, since it's such a top priority, we're gonna hand out some free passes on this one. One of them's for you. Cut your sentence in half. Maybe more. Can't do it. Well, look, I may be a lot of things, fellas, but I ain't a fucking rat, you know. No. No, no thanks. She's okay. You? I'm not here to socialize. Did you hear about Diego? Yeah, I heard. I got a call from Pablo. He said this thing with Diego is a disaster. He's giving up lab locations, names, bank accounts. Pablo is very pissed off. I imagine so. He wants you to take him down. His exact words were, tell George to take him down. 
But look at me, I'm fucking locked up. What am I gonna do? I think you know what to do. Right. So he's asking me to... No, he's not asking. Sir, please state your name. My name is George Young, spelled J-U-N-G. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Young, do you know Diego Delgado? Yes, I do. Do you see him here in the courtroom? Right there. Let the record state witness has identified Diego Delgado. Mr. Young, can you describe the circumstances of how you began talking about cocaine with Mr. Delgado? Shortly after I arrived at Danbury Federal Correctional Institute, I related to Mr. Delgado that the crime I was in for was for smuggling marijuana. Mr. Delgado then relayed to me that he had high-level connections in Colombia, and they needed to find someone to transport cocaine into America. First run was 15 kilos, which we smuggled into Logan Airport in our cabin paper and duct tape. That way, if there was Mr. Delgado to a pilot, who helped us to fly 300 kilos of cocaine per to week. To my knowledge, I never met anyone by the name of Pablo Escobar. I don't know who Diego that is. Delgado was my only connection to cocaine in Colombia. Mr. Delgado convinced me to keep most of my money in a Panamanian bank. We paid Noriega a very generous percentage. There was an 85% chance that if you snorted cocaine between 1977 and 1984, uh, it was our Initially, with my connections in LA, we invented the marketplace. Because at that time there was no other, there was no other competition. First year we made about a hundred million dollars between us. It's an expensive operation. Is it true that you're estranged from your ex-wife and from your daughter? I'm not sure how my relationship with my daughter and my ex-wife have anything to do with this uh, trial. We're here to talk about Diego Delgado. Am I right? Yes, you're right. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Mr. Young, you're a convicted felon. Is that correct? That is correct, sir. And do you have any understanding or agreement with the United States government regarding your testimony? I came here today of my own volition. I beg your pardon? Something about vengeance being best served cold. Right. So you're not getting paid? What? So you're not getting any time knocked off your sentence in exchange for your testimony? I was sentenced to 60 years at Otisville without the possibility of parole. So if they cut my sentence in half, I'm going to be almost 80 years old by the time I get out. Now, that's some kind of fucking deal, right? Mr. Young. Right. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I don't know if the government, the president, the Pope, or Jesus Christ himself can get me out of here. I got a real shitty record. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I don't know what's going to happen. George, it's a simple question. Just give me a straight answer. Are you getting time knocked off your sentence? Or not? Yeah. That's what I thought. Thank you. No further questions. Witness, you're excused. Shouldn't have taken my money, Diego. I was out. I let it go. Court calls Mr. Jack Stevens. 